Hey, Boaters, Maxwell here at Lynn Haven Marine. Standing in front of Yamaha's 21-foot FSH, it's their center console. This is the Sport model. Uh, it's the highest trim level in the 21 FSH uh, series. So you'll have the T-top, and they add additional back seats, curtain for the bathroom, things like that as part of the package. Um, if we uh, hop inside the boat, I'll show you a few more of the features. But this boat did make Boating Magazine's Boat of the Year. Come on, let's check out what's inside. On the back of the boats, they have this, the uh, award-winning uh, Yamaha transit design. It comes right down to the water line back here. So when you're sitting on the back of the boat, you can access the water right off the back. There's no elevated platforms or anything like that. And your swim ladder's right in the middle. You have no outdrives, no prop underneath the boat, just jet propulsion. So there's nothing back here that has to do with the propeller. Back here, you have your clean out ports. You're able to flush your engines, both of them, all the 21 foot Yamaha's come with twin engines. You have flush ports back here and a kill switch. So whenever you access this compartment, it turns the engines off. And when it locks down, you have a step in platform here to hop into the boat. Hidden behind this here is your ski tote. So if you're doing any water sports, tubing, skiing, you can attach to right here. Even though this is a center console, it's still capable of doing all the water sports you'd want to do with your family. It's one of the reasons this boat made Boat of the Year for 2018. It's a very versatile platform. Check out some of the seating and such in the back here. You have rod holders on the top of the gunnel and cup holders all in the back here. Two seats on either side of the helm seat. It does have an afterward facing position here. So if you're going to fish off the back of the boat, you do have this ability to flip back backrest. And you simply just pull it into this position to be forward facing again. The powder coated aluminum T top, you do have a removable canvas top for it. So if you're going to leave it out over the winter or something like that, and you got a lot of snow in a particular area, wherever you're doing your boating, you can just take this off, keep it in your garage until the next season, and keep a boat cover over the boat. Four rod holders, grab handles integrated in. It's got a slim profile down the sides. A lot, a lot of fishing boats these days have them this integrated tightly to the helm. A lot of them are larger and stand out in your walkway. I'm a pretty broad shouldered guy, and I can walk straight down the side of this boat without running into this. At the helm, you have all your controls in one location. And right here, you have a spot for your GPS. So if you're going to add a GPS fish finder combo, they just leave you a nice empty location for it. Here's your uh, boat of the year insignia. Two side seats, removable backrests. This was a big addition for 19. So you pop the backrest out, pop the cushion off stove down below. So if you're going to be fishing the boat exclusively that day and not bring a lot of people with you, you can take it off. Located right behind that is your live well. On this side is your batteries. So you pop this open, you have twin batteries, dual battery switches, all that comes standard with the boat. Cooler space for underneath with the strap to hold it in place. And underneath this whole set here are your twin 1.1 liter, 220 combined horse engines. You have twin sticks at the helm, two throttle controls. You can use them in opposition to each other. If you want to turn the boat in place where you stand without touching this uh, steering wheel, you can actually turn the boat in place whichever direction you want to, making docking so much easier. You have both analog and digital readouts for RPMs for each motor, your miles per hour, water temperature, things like that are all going to show up on here in your fuel economy. Something that's standard on all Yamahas is your both no wake speed controls and your cruise assist controls. It shares the same toggle switch. When you put it just barely into forward, you can add, you can jump it from 800 to 1500 to 2200 RPMs with just three clicks. So the boat runs at a no wake speed without ever having to fiddle around with these. If you're already underway, you have a tuber in the water and they want you to go a little faster, every time you hit this, it adds 500 RPMs. So you can actually get that speed up there without overdoing it with the stick. You have your standard rocker switches here for lighting, your live well aerators, and your, um, your nav lights and anchor lights. They have switches for extra accessories here, so if you're going to add a VHF radio or you're going to add a, a GPS chart plotter, you can run it to these switches to get power. Build switches here, but with the Yamaha, they're always on, and they do come standard with a magnetic compass. Two cup holders up top, 
you have a phone charger and a USB uh, plug down below so you can run your phone through the sound system on the boat. It is also Bluetooth though. This is a tear down T-top. So if you want to take it down for winter storage, you can take it completely off the boat and also remove the windshield. So if you're going to garage store it for part of the year, this does open up some options for you. You have three more rod holders on either side of the helm, four across the top and four across the back gunnels with two more on either side of the boat. Something like 16 rod holders in the boat. It does come standard with a raw water washdown, so you're able to use a hose that comes with the boat, attach it to a nozzle over here, and wash down the boat from whatever water you're in. Moving up to the front, you have a lot more options up here as far as seating is concerned. Two seats like a bow rider and a seat right in the front of the helm here. One of the best things about this forward facing seat is that it lifts up. Come around here and I'll show you. Pull up a lever and lift it. Gives you a bathroom if you want to put a little porta potty down there or if you're just going to utilize it for storage throw your non-utilized fishing gear or safety gear down below and you'll be able to access that pretty quickly. I'm six foot one and I can almost stand up in there. You also have storage on either side under here. This will have some shelving as well as storage down below. And this side here is your trash can. So any kind of trash you collect throughout the day, candy bar, wrappers, whatever, water bottles, awesome in there. And in floor storage up in the bow, there's a cutout for a five gallon bucket that does come with the boat. Yamaha being Yamaha, they think of a lot of storage as being the most important thing of being on a boat, having a place to put stuff. They also added storage on either side here. Right now we have the uh, curtain, the privacy curtain for the bathroom, and the trolling motor bracket. So if you ever want to add a trolling motor to the boat, you could. It does have a bracket capable of holding one. And in the front, last but not least, you have a dedicated anchor locker. The anchor actually has hangers in here and sets inside, toss it out, and the line comes right through this little cutout here. There's a forward cleat for tying it off as well. All of these boats come with the trailer. For all the fish series, it's an aluminum trailer. Very affordable. One of the most well-priced 